Hey, it's Edge here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for crypto total market cap. I'll cover wave analysis with Elliott Wave Theory and provide multiple scenarios the price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities, starting here on weekly time frame and taking a look at the bullish scenario, in which we have this as a wave 1 and wave 2 here, and then smaller degree intermediate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, creating a 5-way structure that I don't think is the third of this structure, so we have to be applying it 1 degree down or uh, downgrading it basically to a primary wave one. So instead we would have this as a one, two, one, two setup. Now, I don't think that wave two here is done. To me, I feel like this is the first leg that we had, and then we would have some kind of three-way pullback, whether it's this size or this size, I'm not quite sure. And then some kind of dump again downwards. This can take up uh, the rest of the year, um, all the way up to next year, or even the early 2024s, um, if this decides to just waste a lot of time. We'll see, of course. Now, in the smaller time frame, let's take a look at this structure over here. So we had this as the primary one over here. And then we had the option of having either the wave three here and then uh, having this as the wave four. I don't like that at all, uh, because again, then we would be expecting uh, impulse wave structures up for that wave five. That is not my expectation overall, so that's why I'm thinking wave four was here and this was wave five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. So disregard what I've <laughs> scribbled in here. Um, then again, we would have this as a three-way structure. Now, there is di two different ways I've labeled this. Uh, both of them are okay, I guess. Having this as a three-way structure looks best. Then three ways here, and then again, possible three ways. This definitely feels like five waves. I'm not quite sure how to label this or the substructures here. I feel like we have to be having this as one, two, three, four, and five, like so. Um, and in very small time frame or smaller time frame, have that divergence here confirming that possibility. Uh, the other option here is that we have this as an A, B, and C. Um, I've labeled also this as a possibility of, of one, two, and three, but we don't get to the 1.618 here, so I don't have any good or real reason why would I be um, looking into this as a third wave in here. So yeah, even if it is getting somewhat close here on log, uh, on arithmetic scale, we can see that I've got, again, we are nowhere close. Um, one of these should be used. I think I, I'm going to be using the logarithmic scale here though, uh, just to view the structure uh, structures in sem themselves basically not really concentrating too much on the uh, on the targets or extension targets here but in any case with whatever this might be to me this looks best as a three-way structure okay since then uh, again we made that low on around the uh, June 18th and then we had a some kind of structure over here that definitely felt like it ended up in this area. Now this definitely, this ABC here feels and looks very very much like the Bitcoin uh, uh, ABC chart we had. Uh, of course it does, because again, crypto total mark cap, this is not the total three that uh, excludes crypto or excludes the Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that's why it resembles um, Bitcoin so much here. But unlike Bitcoin, I don't think I see an option here for this to be A, B, and C, like we had as an option here, or an option for the Bitcoin. Uh, let's see, actually, yeah, it goes beyond the 1.618 here, so I don't see that as an option. Um, yeah, it doesn't look good. So to me, this feels like a finished structure over here. Then we would be starting something new down here with the one, two, three, four, five, just like in Bitcoin and very, very much. Uh, all the other altcoins as well, and ETH and such. And then we would be creating that low uh, 7th of September. Then again, one, two, three. Um, this is again third here on, most likely on total market cap, just because Bitcoin has made such a move here. Uh, on the other coins, there might not be this uh, radical high here. So it could be that we had this as a one, two, three, four, five on other coins though. Uh, we'll see how this develops here. But the overall idea is that this structure here is impulsive and we would be looking for some kind of pullback at some point, probably next week, early next week. 
to happen and then we would be looking for higher prices again now with volume in mind depending of course how high this is going here um, we are we would be looking for around the golden pocket for sure um, yeah there is the volume profile as well supporting that idea that we have that okay what did happen okay well we had the you saw the uh, point of control there but i need to be loading that up again um, around the golden pocket there's definitely going to be more volume around here um, so that has to be kept in mind and an eye on so so uh what next well after creating that low next week i would be looking for long setups for that b i don't think the b is over again with this in mind yet again we did not hit the 382 yet and this definitely seems too small in comparison to be um, correcting this so fast so i'm expecting some kind of dump here before next week's pump here again after b wave has been done again then we would be expecting a five-way structure like this one uh, after that one over here uh, damage goods uh, on discord showed a very interesting channel that he had on logarithmic scale he had something like this in which uh, we can see that i did not hadn't seen this before but we can see that this channel is pivoted again with these lows i think it was i draw, drew it in daily yeah uh, pivoted again with these two and then pushed from here and we can see that the channel actually respected was respected very well here uh, during these highs of August 14th um, and this is definitely one area we could be looking for um, this current structure to go to um, the only issue with this one uh, that I got is that this would take a bit more time this would either take tomorrow and I'm not quite quite seeing the pump happening in in weekends so that's why I don't really prefer that but yeah in any case um, the confirmation that this whole structure here is done um, can be seen once we break out of this channel of course this is i was using this uh, arithmetic channel and this is going to be happening way later this arithmetic channel had these as a support line basically this mid line here pivoted a couple times from it uh, but nothing else so both of these are very valid at the moment um, so just wanted to show show you those and point them out uh, if, if you're interested in those again they are part of Elliott Wave Theory and that's why we're using them again they would be related to this ABC here but yeah I feel like that is pretty much everything I wanted to cover here today on Total or Crypto Total Market Cap if you made it this far into the video I would appreciate the likes link to my free Discord server in the description below and for now I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video, bye bye.